Welcome to segment three of lesson three in algebra. We're dealing with word problems with a single variable and we're still tackling numbers. This is our third example. It says here that we find three consecutive even integers such that five times the difference between the third and the first number is 10 less than five times the second number. And that's one of those problems that can really throw your brain into a knot, can it? So to help ourselves through that one, we're going to define the three numbers. So they're consecutive even integers. That means each number is twice, is two more than the previous number. So we're going to let x be the first or the smallest. So let, and that should be a t, let x equal the first number, which is the smallest number. So that's the smallest. Since they're even consecutive integers, that means the next one is two more, so therefore x plus two is the second number, and then x plus four, two more than that, so plus two plus two, or simply x plus four is equal to the third number. All right, so once we define the three numbers in terms of x, now we can go ahead and try to come up with an equation. And it says that uh, five times the difference between the third and the first number. So five times the difference between the third and the first number. So that's the third number minus the first number. So let's see if we got this right. So it's five times the difference between the third number and the first number. So we get that right. And that should be 10 less than five times the second number. So here we have five times the second number. And this is 10 less than this. So it's this minus 10. So this is equal to 10 less than five times the second number. All right, so again, five times the difference between the third number and the first number equals 10 less than five times the second number. Now we can go ahead what each one of those are equal to. The third number is x plus four, so we have five times x plus four minus the first number, which is x, and that is equal to five times the second number, which is x plus two, minus 10. And now we can go ahead and solve that equation, solve it for x. So first we want to get rid of the parentheses and the brackets. So we can say that five times x plus four minus x is equal to, we can already multiply this out, so five times x and five times two, that gives us five x plus 10, and then we still have the minus 10 here. Then x minus x is simply zero plus four, so we have five times four is equal to 5x plus 10 minus 10, and so we have 20 is equal to 5x. Now, since I'm solving for x, I'm going to turn the equation around, move the 5x over here and the 20 over there, so we have 5x equals 20, and now we divide both sides by the coefficient, and so we have x is equal to 20 divided by 5, which is 4. And again, up here, we said x is equal to the first number, so the smallest is equal to 4, so the second number is 4 plus 2, that means that it's equal to 6. And the third number, 4 plus 4, which is 8. And so 4, 6, and 8 are the three even consecutive integers we were looking for. And that's how you do that problem.